So it's common knowledge among Mocha Pot users that one of the things you have to do to get your best coffee is once you start getting this pale, uh, bubbly product coming out of the spout of this thing, that you want to apply either uh, cold water or a damp cloth to stop the brewing. Everybody knows this, this is common wisdom. Uh, the Navarini paper that came out in 2009 gives a theoretical justification for this. Basically what's happening is you're bypassing the water in here. Uh, the water level is at that point so low that what's happening is that all that's left over is mostly steam. So you're sending the superheated steam up through the connecting tube and through your coffee. So you're basically scouring your coffee. Uh, I talk about this in the video where I explain the Navarini paper uh, and the Bull brothers talk about this in their video in which they kind of loosely read the paper and then pretend like they're basing their technique off of it. Um, but as you know, I'm not one to stand on uh, theory and kind of popular claims. I want to see the experiment. So today, for you, loyal viewer, I am going to test this idea and potentially ruin my coffee. I'm going to brew coffee into the milk pot. I'm going to leave it on even after the pale bubbling happens. And we're going to see if the product is really that much worse. So wish me luck. moment of truth I have a mocha pot full of coffee that I believe I have scorched with superheated steam it does smell a bit worse Yes, I have successfully ruined my morning coffee. Now notably, this process of not removing the mocha pot from the burner and applying cold uh, when you get to the bubbling, notably this should only affect the last, you know, say 5% of the volume of the stuff. So you've got the good coffee still in there, it's just you've got this terrible coffee at the end that's added to it. Yep. That is very bitter and overbrewed, over extracted. Yeah, that's exactly the taste that that Americans associate with a mocha pot because they don't necessarily know that you have to remove it from your hot water and apply uh, cold water or cold damp cloth. So they associate this terrible bitter flavor with a mocha pot, which you don't have to. If you watch videos, if you look at a good technique, you can actually get a good product out of this. So in the tradition of Mythbusters, let me say this myth has been confirmed that you really do want to apply either a cold tap or a damp cloth to your mocha pot brewer as soon as you're getting pale bubbly stuff coming out of it. Now you might think, how much of an effect can that really have, right? Because you've got this kind of big thermal mass of water it's been heating up for you know several minutes how much effect is it really gonna have it turns out quite a bit because what you're not doing is you're not cooling down the water that's not the intention because that you're right this is a big specific heat for water it would take a while to cool it down what you're doing is you're applying uh something cold to cool down the air that's inside 
to dramatically reduce the amount of air pressure pent up, uh, which actually happens very quickly uh, with even a slight temperature decrease. So it actually is very effective in relieving the pressure and stopping things from brewing right away if you apply some uh, cold water or damp cloth. So thanks for watching. Remember to stay coffee snobby.